Hi everybody. So in today's video we're going to discuss uh, the whole process and everything you need to know about getting married in the Philippines. Stay tuned. Okay everybody, so getting married in the Philippines. Um, and I'm going to scroll some of these steps across the bottom here because there's a lot of information. I'll make it as brief as possible, but I also want to be clear on everything and all the requirements too, okay? So basically, um, if you want to get married in the Philippines, first three things that you should know. One, uh, obviously male and female and at least 18 years or older, pretty common knowledge. Uh, two, if you or your partner is 25 years old or below, uh, parental consent or advice is needed. A lot of people don't realize that, but if your Filipina is less than 25, you'll need a parental, uh, parental consent, which is easy enough. I'll explain that in more detail in just a minute. Um, you can't be blood related up to a fourth degree. Obviously, if you're from the West coming out to the Philippines, that's not going to be a problem. Uh, you're not going to be uh, related. So first thing is you're going to need to get a marriage license, which is going to be the most important document. Um, you have to go to your civil register or the city, town, or municipality where your fiance or Fili uh, Filipina lives, and that's where you'll get it. It usually takes about two weeks or 10 consecutive days um, after you apply for it to receive. Okay, so those who come out here and want a quick marriage, it's not that quick. Make sure you're here at least three weeks because you have to wait for that and you both have to apply for it in person. This can't be done long distance or with just one person, okay? Um, once you get that, it's good for 120 days. So you could come out here, do all of that, and then come, you know, go home and come back and, and then get married and have a little more time for planning. Okay, um, the latest certified true copy of your birth certificate original and photocopy okay this is for filipinas um a, a original copy of a baptismal can also be accepted accepted foreigners have to obtain uh, the birth certificates from their country of origin and again uh, notarized affidavit of parental consent or advice for applicants below 25. Okay, the legal age is 18 in the Philippines to get married, but you do need the parental consent form if below 25, okay? 18 to 21, uh, father, mother, or guardian can either personally appear with their valid ID or provide notarized consent. Applicants 21 to 25, notarized parental advice is necessary. Parental or guardian is likewise required to either show up with a valid ID or just provide a notarized written account expressing that they're aware of the couple's intent to marry as well as any other advice they wish to give. Okay, um, all these forms are at the Civil Registry or City Civil Registry Department. Now, for some, some of you may say, what if the parents refuse to give an affidavit? Well, um, if that happens, you can submit a sworn statement telling the reason why they refused um, after which the marriage license can only be issued three months after you filed the application. So if that does happen, don't give up. You can still get married, but it's going to take a little bit of a longer time period. Hopefully parents are going to give you some full support, I would imagine. Okay. Um, has, you have to have a latest certificate of no marriage or certificate of singleness. Okay shows that neither of you was married before. Um, if you were married before, you need to have your divorce paperwork or annulment. Okay. Uh, certificate of attendance and pre-marriage counseling, family planning, and a responsible parenthood seminar, if applicable. Um, most couples, if you're 24 years or younger, you're gonna be required to do that. If you're 25 or older, I don't think it's mandatory. Now, this usually applies for civil, now, if you want a church wedding, it's much more complicated. And I'm not going to get into a church wedding at this point. You would 
you would still have to do all the steps that I'm talking about today, but then you're going to have to go to the church and you're going to have to take classes and prove that you're more than likely she's Catholic and you're going to have to prove you weren't married before. If you were married before, it has to be annulled um, through the church, not through, not legally through the uh, courts. Okay. All right. So... Yeah, you need valid ID, you need pictures uh, with like a white background, two by two or one by one, depends on your local civil office. Um, tax certificates. For foreigners, we have to go to the counselor office embassy of the foreigner's country. Um, if you are a US citizen, you have to provide an affidavit in lieu of certificate of legal capacity to marry. Um, you can obtain that by appointment from the U.S. Embassy in Manila or through walk-in application at the U.S. Embassy in Cebu. And then a photocopy of your passport showing the date of arrival. Um, other requirements, if you've had annulment, divorced, widowed, you'll have to show proof of all of that too. Okay, I'll flash up here the marriage license. Um, but basically, the marriage license, it's basically five steps. One get an application form from the local registry office. Uh, number two, fill out the form. Left portion is for the groom and the right side is for the bride. And I'm gonna show that here in a second. Um, submit the necessary documents, the list of requirements together. Um, you'll, you'll wanna do that. Um, usually in the early morning or right after lunch is the least busy time. Uh, number four, attend the pre-marriage counseling, family planning, and responsible parenthood seminar. Submit the certificate of attendance and return on the date indicated on the claim slip. And then number five, wait the 10 days for the marriage license for it to be released. And then once issued, you can get married basically anywhere in the Philippines. And you've got 120 days from the date of issuance to do that. Okay. Um, so civil wedding. Um, I'm going to explain the civil wedding. I'm not going to get into the church wedding. That's just all of these steps plus some more. Okay. Um, but the civil wedding, you go and you go to the civil registrar's office. You pay the required fees for the marriage license. Make sure you deal directly with the staff. Don't deal with people who don't directly work for the office. That's how you can get swindled out of some money. Um, Proceed to the mayor's office, submit the letter of intent to marry with the marriage license to the secretary. Number three, wait for the confirmation that your suggested wedding dates are available. Civil weddings are usually officiated by the judge or the mayor in the city hall court. Um, you need to find at least two people with legal age, 18 or older, who will be um, witnesses. And then on your wedding day, you have to pay a filing fee, usually 100 pesos. Um, it's not expensive. And then proceed to the official civil wedding ceremony. And that's basically it. So um, next, I'm going to talk about how you can get divorced in the Philippines. A lot of people don't realize this. As a foreigner, you would have to go back to your country of origin and file. I'll explain that more in a second. Um, also, you could leave the Philippines and get married in like Singapore or Hong Kong or places like that. And I'll explain that too here in just a second. Okay, so divorce in the Philippines. So yeah, the Philippines is a country that uh, there is no divorce and annulment is extremely expensive. And even if you have the money, it can be extremely hard to come by. Um, it doesn't mean it's gonna be granted. Um, but divorce, if you're a foreigner, and you marry a Filipina, and even if you get married in the Philippines, a foreigner, you can go back to your own country, your country of origin, and you can file for a divorce there. I believe you have to be there in person. Um, somebody can uh, correct me if I'm in, incorrect, but I believe that's correct. That you can go back to your country of origin, file for divorce, and as long as it's uh, recognized, they, they accept it, and you get divorced, you can come back to the Philippines. And as of 2018, the Supreme Court in the Philippines passed a law saying that the, the Westerner can marry another Filipina. 
And the Filipina who you divorced, even though she's still living here in the Philippines, and even though she didn't actually do the divorce, you did by going back to your country, she can legally um, remarry too. So that is something new that happened in 2018. The Supreme Court in the Philippines um, passed that law. It is recognized. So something to think about. Now, obviously, don't go into marriage, you know, thinking I'm going to, hey, I'm going to get divorced in a few years. I'm <laughs> so you want to go into a marriage and, and think this is going to be successful. This is going to be to the uh, end of my days. Um, but if it does happen, um, you can still get divorced. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, I just wanted to kind of go over some facts and just some steps of what to do and how to get married here. There is a lot more paperwork in the Philippines uh, than there is if you were to get married probably in your own home country. Depends on what country, I suppose. Also, if you want a church wedding, there is a lot more to it. And uh, um, you're gonna have to be Catholic. And if you're not Catholic, even more of a process. Um, it can be done, but um, probably stick with a civil wedding. Do a civil wedding much quicker, faster. Don't come out to the Philippines and think you're going to get married within a week if you've met the right girl. It's not going to happen. You need at least three weeks out here. You need to have all your paperwork. You're going to have to do some traveling you, depending on, on where your um, embassy is and or where your consulate office is. You'll have to travel there and make an appointment. Um, it's, it's a lot of work. So like I said, if you're going to marry out here, Come out here, get everything done, and then maybe fly back home and come back. And you have the six months to get married. That that marriage certificate is good for six months. Or um, plan on staying out here at least a month, I would say. Okay? So, guys, if you have any questions or comments, comment down below. Hit the subscribe button. Um, again, I'm on Instagram and I'm on Facebook as Geo in the Philippines. Follow me. I, I post a lot of information, a lot of stuff. Um, a lot of news articles, a lot of things going on in the Philippines. That stuff never makes it to my YouTube channel, but it is posted at Geo in the Philippines on my Facebook and sometimes Instagram. Okay? Talk to you guys later. Bye. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel.